All right, pick number eight. We've got the Washington Capitals. What are you doing if you are trying to bolster the group that's going to get Ovechkin to pass Gretzky's record? <sighs> Man, like no one that you're taking. Well, I mean, Ovechkin never, I think he might, he could play. If you told me that Ovechkin was playing at 54 years old, I'd be like, yeah, no shit. Uh, hang on. <laughs> How many minutes does he have to play? As many as he wants to. The guy doesn't fucking pick. I'm telling you, I think that he can sign a legacy contract where he just re-signs year after year if he <laughs> yeah. opts in, and he only plays on the power play. Like, true power play specialist like Kalen Addison. It would be brilliant. I'd love it. It would be so good. Can you imagine, though? Like, people would be so much more excited about power plays. Like, here he comes, like, fresh off crushing a Dr. Pepper. Here we go. <laughs> Dude, like, he's such a fucking maniac. <laughs> he is. He is. Um, all right. So, who are they taking here? Give it to me. Who are you taking here for them? Man, like, I'm, like, deciding, just, like, looking at their prospect pool, too. And, again, like, that's a mistake when you're draft. You This is a draft where you probably well, are going full no, on, like. Yeah, that's a good question, though. Because of how deep the draft is, does that make you more or less inclined to swing for positional need? Like, is it, like – yes, you're passing on a great player, but you're also getting like an incredible player wherever you're reaching for? Or does that mean, no, you just take the best player and shut the fuck up? It's a fucking great question. All right. Well, all right. So who are you taking as the GM of Washington wanting Washington to succeed? Oh, this is so hard. Oh, man, I'm trying to decide if I want to go. Let's hear the options. Lay it out. Well, I mean, it's literally like, because I could justifiably see them. And again, I'm not saying like, oh, this is not what I would do. I could see them justifiably like divorce could be a great ad at this point right here because – this is a kid who knows if he's a center or a wing, but he's an NHLer, and probably won't take him that long to adjust to the NHL. We could potentially get him here when Ovi's still doing his thing, but there's risk there. With man, if I take this fucking kid high, it doesn't pan out. If this year is a, like more of an indicator of who he is versus the last couple, then like, yeesh, that's gonna hurt. Um, or, like, you look at that prospect pool, man, like, on the back end, dude, like, they could use a guy. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going uh, – I'll go a defenseman. I'm going to take the Russian kid, Simashev. This kid is a fucking stud. I don't know if I'd actually do that. Is that, but like, is that in all my the head, more you have for him? He's just a fucking stud? So this is a kid, you look at his counting numbers offensively, and you're, like, uh, lacking. Um, but – He's got size. He skates unbelievably well. He defends well. He's physical. Like he does everything. And there, that uh, he's from Russia. He oh, plays that, for Loco. that certainly helps when Ovi is the only Russian left. <laughs> I know. Well, no, they've got a couple guys. Um, isn't Pot, isn't uh, Alexi? What's his face? Or did they already trade him? They might have. You're not talking him. Alex Semen, I hope. No. <laughs> yeah, he's on, he's on the team, isn't he? He's still talking fighting over here. I remember back in 2009, he fucking torched. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. He's a stud, man. I'm he's sure Kuznetsov's not bad. He's with the trade yet. They traded their boy to you. I don't oh, know. No, they, no, they took Marasha Shenko. They took Marasha Shenko got out of the uh, KHL contract, too. Okay, fair enough. All right. So he's coming. Two. So yeah. I'm still really low. I think there you for, go. Like infiltrating the American government in DC, they need more. Yeah, so they yeah. got Alexiev. Alexiev is still there. All right, Simishev. Um yeah, I think actually and again, Simishev, I think he does everything. Like and the counting stats aren't necessarily there, but like you look at the foundation of tools he has, and again, like this is a kid, he's like six foot two and skates like not only whether it's like speed um or just like beating guys to pucks like 
I have watched him like there was one time I was watching a game and he again like he's retrieving right so they they dump the puck in he's going to retrieve the puck he broke a four checkers ankles and sent him like face first into the boards but I was like oh my god he didn't even touch him and he fucking may have killed this guy just by being that deceptive like he does everything he does everything like there's I don't see a world where this kid doesn't pan out as like an impact top four defenseman sure. because he's got the size. He defends at an elite level. And like, it's funny because you talk to any like public scout and like, there's no reason the offense shouldn't be here because he does everything you're supposed to do. <laughs> like anything you, you look for as a scout and like a defenseman that has offensive upside, he does. And again, you want to talk about tools insane. Like this kid is, no shit. Like, would I think he ends up probably being the second defenseman off the board anyways. Um, I do think the NHL guys are just going to look at David Reinbacher and be like, look at that's more cider. That's who he is, which is he, I don't know. He is legit and he might be the best defense on this draft. But um, I think if you're Washington, you're, you, you'd be happy to add to that prospect pool with this kind of a defenseman because again he does legitimately everything at an elite level he is unbelievable okay i'm in